Hello and welcome to my Houdini Sweep Effects course. In this course, we will create a Houdini tool that generates precise sweep effects for combat game VFX. We will learn how to transfer valuable animation data from our curve meshes over to the Unreal Game Engine and then use it to visualize our effect in an optimized and incredibly precise way. This course is specifically designed to teach you automation in VFX as well as solution finding and knowing how to build a complete tool from scratch. You will learn this all by applying a smarter solution of creating sweep effects. And you may know that as a VFX artist, it can be hellish to create accurate and smooth sweep effect meshes that also transition nicely aligned with the motion of the animation. And it gets even more frustrating if the animation changes over time, meaning that for automation purposes, Direct frame syncing is actually very crucial for such effect. The secret knowledge that you will consume from this course will offer you unique learning experiences while we construct our tool in Houdini and set up our effect in Unreal Engine using Niagara and the Material Editor. The setup that we will create can easily be tweaked to your likings to fit with many different art styles and can even be used for your own project or portfolio. The content of this course is filled with amazing lessons for beginners and even seasoned VFX or tech artists who are looking to improve their skills. Throughout the course we will apply a lot of mathematics, but I can promise you that we will go in detail over each problem that we will solve. And next to all of that, I will offer you my feedback on a regular basis. And if that's not enough, you will also receive help from a Discord community that is specifically designed for this course. So, what are the minimal requirements for you to get started? First of all, you'll need the Houdini FX or Indie version to be able to use the SolverSop and the FBX exporter. And then you'll need Unreal Engine 5, which is available for free on the Epic Games market. Here is a quick summary of some of the topics that we will go about. We will start by setting up our project and then we will import our attack animations to Houdini. Next on we will build an interface that is easily modifiable and will learn how to use Python scripting in Houdini. Then later we will generate our mesh from the motion of our animation. And as we generate our mesh we will also store crucial animation data into the vertex color and UVs. We will then learn to smoothen our mesh without destroying the shape of it. And then finally, in Houdini, we will construct a smart naming for the FBX file exporter using channel expressions and VEX code. Then later on, we'll learn how to spawn and destroy our curve mesh in Niagara from the UV data, such as the X and the Y coordinates. We will then visualize our effect from the mesh data that we have and expose the time values through a material function. And then from these time values, we will build our effect material. And in the final chapter, we will look into a custom ribbon camera facing shader and solve many other problems. With all this information aside, now finally, you are prepared for this VFX course. I'm super excited to start teaching you. See you soon.